Say hello to Naki. Naki is a small, elegant device that instantly transforms ordinary surfaces in your environment into remote controls. Using Naki couldn't be easier. You simply take it out of the box, pick a place to put it, select a surface to attach it to, and then define all the things you'd like Naki to do. Naki can control a wide variety of devices around us. But the true beauty of our technology is that what it can do is only limited by your imagination. Put one in your living room, or the kitchen, or even your bedroom. I mean, imagine rolling over in the morning and tapping a simple pattern anywhere on your nightstand to snooze your alarm and start the coffee maker without even opening your eyes. You just bought 10 more minutes in bed. And you'll definitely want to put one in your kid's bedroom. It's exciting to think of how Naki will spark their imagination as they figure out all kinds of ways to use it. Using Wi-Fi, which is proven to be far more reliable and with better reach than Bluetooth, you can enjoy using Naki from anywhere. The number of devices and software that Naki interacts with is rapidly growing every day. It currently includes Nest, Philips Hue, LifeX, SmartThings, IFTTT, and more. But even if you're new to the smart technology world, you can still use Naki for simple functions around your home. Other technologies that rely on sound or voice control can be unreliable and confusing to use. They can be triggered accidentally and don't always work as expected. Our patent pending technology uses non-acoustic sensors. It's able to distinguish deliberate tap or knock patterns from random vibrations in the environment. The beauty of our product is that it makes any regular environment into a user interface. Think about the surfaces around you. So many of them serve one or two purposes. Add a Naki to them and you instantly have a hub for automation. Naki accomplishes what technology is supposed to do. Instead of taking over our life, it enhances it, allowing you to put more thought and effort into the things that really matter. Tap into the world around you with the magic of Naki. This is Luna, the world's smallest 360-degree camera. You can easily take 360-degree videos with no blind spot with Luna. Such videos are usually shot with large, expensive rigs. To improve a better experience, we've been through many prototypes to make it smarter to work, lighter to carry, tougher to adventure, and simple to use. Finally, this is where we arrived. A 360-degree camera in a size just like a pool ball. So it's easy to carry anywhere. Or to explore vantage points never possible before. It's designed to be rugged, to suit the wild. Luna's IP68 waterproof rating ensures it can accompany you on your adventures on and off the ground. With built-in Wi-Fi, Luna can communicate with your mobile devices, which can remember the location of your videos and when they were shot. It not only can transfer data wirelessly, but also live stream real-time 360-degree video to iPhone, Android, and tablet. Even more, using virtual reality mode with cardboard makes this a truly immersive experience. Luna's magnetic adapter allows it to transfer data and charge power, while at the same time allowing you to attach it wherever your imagination goes. Performing for a packed audience tonight? Record it on your mic stand. This is Luna, a 360-degree camera for everyone. What if you could give your mobile device a new sense, 
the ability to not just capture the world in two-dimensional images, but to actually understand it in three dimensions. The Structure Sensor does just that. It's the world's first 3D sensor for mobile devices. What I really am excited about with the Structure Sensor is it makes it so easy. You can clip it to a mobile device and walk around your world, basically pull your world into a digital form. My name is Jeff Powers, and I'm a founder of Occipital. We're passionate about giving devices the ability to see and understand the world around them. This isn't about taking pictures. It's about computer vision and interaction. We call it spatial computing. It's much bigger than just us, and it's going to change the way we interact with the world. Let me show you what you can do with it. You'll be able to capture every dimension of an entire room in a matter of seconds. And you can send a model to your phone so you can get any dimension you need at any time. You'll be able to easily capture and send three-dimensional objects across town or across the world and make decisions together even when you're apart. You'll be able to play games, games where the real world becomes the game world. Building hardware is something we had never done. Occipital is fundamentally a software company, so to create this device, we had to teach ourselves hardware design. And we were lucky enough to work with some of the best technology companies in the world, not the least of which is PrimeSense, the company whose technology actually powered the original Kinect. Applying 3D technology to mobile devices is an immense challenge. Occipital is geared to make it happen. They have the panel 360 and red laser, so this is a team that can actually pull this off. Structure works by capturing a pattern of invisible laser-projected light which allows you to measure thousands of distances all at once. The iPad has arguably the best user experience of any tablet, and it was important to us to go the extra mile to make Structure work specifically with it. Structure latches securely to your iPad. It connects via the new lightning connector. The end result is actually thermal design, mechanical design, industrial design, all being put together into one perfect object. Structure's single-piece body is machined from high-grade anodized aluminum. It serves as both a beautiful exterior and as a thermal core that keeps the precision optics inside at an optimal temperature. What's really important is get a platform out there and see what developers do with it. For the first time, you'll get an SDK that lets you tap into a 3D sensor on iOS. You'll have complete low-level access to the sensor. And if you don't feel like processing raw depth data, you can tap into the high-level APIs. Just write your application in Xcode and hit deploy. You can even launch your app on the App Store. If you want to develop on another platform, we're giving you everything you need. A USB hacker cable, open source drivers, and even open CAD specs so you can 3D print your own attachment for almost anything. I saw a portable head-up display unit which connects to your phone and vehicle. It projects all the necessary information you need as a transparent image hovering in front of you. It has a wide array of unique features that allow you to remain connected without taking your eyes off the road. Setting up iScout is quick and simple. You place iScout on your dashboard and connect to your car via OBD2 port and to your phone via Bluetooth. It would connect to your phone and relay incoming calls which you can accept or reject using simple hand gestures. You could swipe left to accept a call or swipe right to reject one. iScout would support a wide range of apps like WhatsApp, Facebook and almost all the social media apps that are uh, in the market right now. Because you're able to communicate with the vehicle, you're able to gain access to all the warning signs from the vehicle itself and display it on the device. Imagine you are driving and you are low on fuel. So what iScout does is that it warns you and it immediately searches for a gas station nearby. iScout has a number of very interesting features. Features such as a, a blind spot camera. The blind spot camera is the first of its kind for a head-up display unit. When you turn on your right indicator, for example, the right blind spot camera gets activated, showing you a live feed of what's happening on your right blind spot view. So you don't have to look over your shoulders again. There are two components to iScout. One is the base, the second is the combiner or the piece of glass that attached to the base. The screen of iScout is photogrammetric. 
which means you will never have to worry about image quality even on a bright sunny day. The screen dims according to light intensity allowing you to view your content effortlessly. iScout has a built-in GPS for navigation. Because it can pinpoint your exact location, it displays the speed limit of the road you're on. The dial glows red when you're speeding to capture your attention immediately. iScout is integrating all these unique features onto one platform to allow you to remain connected safely. And this is what iScout does best. It helps you multitask without the risk of multitasking. My name is Santiago Gutierrez and I created the world's first smartphone. The GoBone is the first entertainment device made for you and your dog. It keeps your dog active while you're at work and it gives you new ways to play when you're together. It's something that not only I can use in the evening when I just want to hang out with my dog and play, but it's also something that can be at home with him when I can't be. Using the GoBone is easy. Just put food or treats inside, tap it, and it automatically plays with your pup for up to eight hours, keeping them happy and entertained and giving you a renewed peace of mind. The GoBo one is also very smart. It actually personalizes its experience to your dog based on their breed, weight, age, and other variables. When you're ready to get in on the action, you can instantly take control of the GoBone through the mobile app. Interactive games like GoBone Fetch and GoBone Hide and Seek turn the GoBone into an interactive gaming device for you and your pup. Even capture video and share it while you play. The GoBone's exterior can be changed when it wears out or when it's time for a new look. You don't need to buy a new GoBone if it gets chewed up. Our mechanical engineer has years of experience designing rugged products for the military, so rest assured the GoBone's electronics are safely enclosed. The GoBone has been in the works for more than two years with over a thousand hours of testing behind it. Over a hundred dogs have already had the chance to play with the GoBone, many of them living in animal shelters. And that's where the GoBone's other function comes into play. We believe the GoBone is not only a great companion for your dog, it could be a life-saving device for dogs in shelters hoping to be adopted. I think that it is mental stimulation for animals. Uh, shelters, a lot of times you'll see that animals are recluse or deemed inadoptable because they lack interaction. Um, and this is a way to actually show their personality, to bring out uh, who they are and make them more adoptable. 